Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my channel Technocube. You are in this series of Fundamentals of Cybersecurity and in the previous session we had seen Nmap uh, a port scanner tool, a port scanner application and we had performed one simple port scanning uh, on my machine 192.168.117.134 uh, which is this XP machine on a port 21 which is specifically for 21 uh, sorry FTP uh, you see we had performed this kind of uh, you know thing uh, in the previous session nmap dash st uh, then I had given dash p for port number and then sorry it's a dash p21 one, uh, 192.168.117.134 this is what I type right you see this is uh, when it has been done uh, it's, a, it's a TCP scan so it is going through the connection three way handshake such as SYN and then SYN ACK and then ACK right so uh, this after this connection establishment what happens the server this it means the target is going to respond you back okay it will tell you that the port 21 is open or not so when I hit enter you will get a response here uh, so it will take some some seconds here let's uh, wait for that um, So yeah, see. So it takes some time, and it gives you uh, some uh, some response here. So this is a response after the connection establishment uh, connection established happened. Okay. So this is the thing. But however, you know, this kind of thing can be seen uh, by a network administrator if a kind of firewall rule or an IDA system has been installed on this XP machine. Okay. In this machine, if it is installed, then I can probably see that someone is you know scanning my port twenty one in my machine. This machine is doing it right uh, so if uh, you know if this happens then uh, there might be he can he can grab you directly so it is not a good idea to use a TCP scan because it is a very noisy scan and uh, it could be included in the firewall logs or any uh, you know network logs it, it could be easily find it out so this is the thing so uh, you see one more thing if this person this target person if he had uh, you know enabled the firewall currently this XP machine as a firewall but it is disabled firewall so let me uh, you know what what I can do is I can enable the uh, firewall here let me enable it once I enable what result you will get see right now it is the port 21 is open for you but somehow you see my firewall is completely disabled here let me let me enable this firewall and let, let's see what is the result now so let me on it and it so now my firewall is open and he is going to check the things so let me again scan this whole thing dash st and the port 21 with the same target machine let's see what result you will get this time you will get um, so it'll take some time yeah so here you see the difference is if you have not firewall any or any other protective measure in your target system then it is open okay the port number is 21 is open however if you use a kind of network protective system such as IDS or firewall then you see that port is open actually but because you have installed or not enabled the firewall it is saying that port 21 is filtered port okay it is a filtered port so you cannot access it it's a filtered port my firewall is looking after this port you cannot touch it okay so this is the uh, this is another thing and uh, initially I had told you that uh, you know you should not use this dash st because it is very noisy it could be logged it could be logged inside a network log so it's not a good idea see now we will understand the next uh, 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 next syntax of uh, nmap uh, another kind of port scan uh, let's say I want to do something called as fin scan okay the next scan is a fin scan so here let me open uh, the notepad here and uh, let me say uh, the uh, syntax for fin scan so this is a fin scan and fin scan is basically you know the scan is very simple it's, you will do nmap dash sf then again the port same port 192.168.117.134 uh, this is the scan okay the same sy syntax you just instead of a, a capital t you just have to put f now you see I already had told you that there is there are so many flags available in the TCP headers such as syn fact, uh, syn uh, ack, uh, ack, you know this is three way handshake but this is very noisy in nature right it will be there in the logs 
So, but instead of that, what if I use only fin flag? What is the what is the advantage of this fin flag? Well, you see, it is used to bypass the sin packet. So, it is a bypass the sin filter. So, what do you mean by sin filter? Let's say this firewall, okay, the firewall that I had enabled in this system, it had a rule specifically for sin flag, okay, it had a rule for the sin flag. Sin, fl sin flag comes up in the TCP header, I mean it is in the three-way handshake, okay. So whenever, whenever a firewall looks in the network log that there is a request of sin, it is going to drop it, okay. So eventually your TCP scan is going to be dropped, it is going to be, uh, I mean it is going to be rejected by your firewall, right. So sin flag is going to be blocked. So, to bypass that sin, sin filter of a firewall, I can use something called as fin, okay. It's a finish flag. That means it is usually used to terminate the connection, okay. It is not going to use for uh, establish, okay. It is going to terminate the connection. So, a full, full uh, handshake and termination is something like this fin and then fin ACK and then uh, there is a ACK. So, you see, this is for establishment and this is for termination. So this is the fin flag which is specifically used to terminate the connection and this is what I am using here. So a packet was, which is not coming for establishment, a packet which is coming for terminate the connection in that way your destination will not reply anything you see and apart from that your firewall will not gonna block this packet okay otherwise it is going to block. Let's understand the terminology here you see. The analogy is very simple. If a flag here, if a flag, uh, sorry, if a if a packet consists of a sin, you see, if sin packet is coming, and you know it's moving here, so it, it, this sin flag is moving to the destination. So let's say this is my destination here. Or let's say it's a target. Okay, it's a a target computer and this target has a firewall installed okay so this is a protectiveness uh, that this target uh, has so let's say this is a firewall here firewall installed now what will happen when this request comes up you see when this request comes up this firewall has a rule let's say this firewall has a rule so a rule block all sin sin packets so you can see a sin is coming here so a sin packet is coming here so definitely this packet is going to be i mean it is going to be dropped here okay so it is not going to be it will net, never enter into the target system it is going to be dropped here however now now i am using something called as fin packet here this is the fin packet right and you know that sin packet is for establish the connection so definitely firewall gonna lose it right we'll lose the tamper here and we'll see it will say that no i do not want to establish any connection new connection i just want to drop it because you are sin packet but fin is a is specifically used to terminate the connection okay firewall will never understand because there is no sin packet for this fin right there is no because the chain is something like this okay there, if there is a connection then the chain is something like this sin then the sin sorry i'm so sorry sin ack then ack and then the data exchange then there is going to be fin then fin ack and then ack something like this so if there is no connection earlier you know you are sending directly the fin packet so your firewall will never understand it right your firewall will never understand it he will see that there is no upper connection establishment it is just saying that uh, to terminate the connection so he gonna accept it okay your firewall gonna accept it so when this packet goes to this firewall as there is no rule written in the firewall for this fin packet it this packet is going to be accepted by the target so we'll get into the target system and we'll see is there any port 21 open for it or not okay so uh, the, re uh, the result will not come okay target will not respond it back because it is a it is fin packets fin packet never responds okay you will never get a response for uh, fin packet it is just to for a query okay you can send a, a request but you will never get a response there you, you are just checking 
that uh, the I mean this host uh, this port 21 and the host is alive or not so here when I do the same thing in Kali machine uh, I'm gonna write here let's clear the uh, screen and when I write uh, and map dash f dash uh, p21 uh, 192.168.117. So sorry, 134. You see, as my firewall is uh, open, you will see that 21 port will. Uh, let's wait for some time. So it's scanning, and uh, yeah, you see, it's it it is giving me that it is open, but it is filtered port, right? As my firewall is open, so it is filtered right now. But however, you see, it gives me the that port number, 20, port 21 is open. Are you getting it? Even if I'm sending fin packet, still it is giving me that is open, right? You're, you're seeing the difference. Even if your firewall has disabled the SYN packet, every SYN packet is blocked, right? Every SYN uh, incoming packet is going to be blocked by the firewall here. However, if you use fin in your in your TCP flag, in your port scan, if you use fin scan, then it is going to be accepted even, even if your firewall is on and your target system is on, it is going to be accepted, okay? And this sin is not going to be accepted. So this is the advantage uh, over the TCP scan. So instead of sin packet, you can use fin, okay? So sir, how can I see how a network administrator can find this fin packet? It is easy. See, if I use Wireshark here, okay? Let me use Wireshark here and you just have to find the uh, fin inside this Wireshark. Let's see this. Okay. So this is ETHO and this is running up and running. So let me, uh, uh, I mean, on this interface and let me try to run one more time this command. So this is run and uh, so you'll see, um, it'll take some time. And uh, so you see, now here, you see when I stop this uh, capturing the packet, now you see the last part here, TCP, TCP, can you see this? This is this is the exact, uh, you know, uh, thing. So my Kali machine is responding, uh, I mean, querying the 134, that is the XP machine on a TCP protocol, using TCP protocol, but you can see here, it is querying the port 21, by the way, but you can see, if you find the fin packet here you see there is no connection establishment here anywhere you can find there is no sin sin ack and ack there is no three-way handshake you can you can see there is a direct fin packet there is a direct termination of a connection you can see so if a network administrator finds there is no three-way handshake uh, 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 above and direct fin packet is there then it is nothing but a fin scan okay it is the uh, this this is how a network administrator can understand that someone is using fin scan in my computer okay so as you can see there is no three way handshake sin sin ack and ack there is no right direct fin comes it should comes after this sin sin ack ack and then fin should come right this is the termination it is coming earlier so this is how a network administrator can find right so i hope you like it uh, if you like it, please uh, hit that like button, share this video. And if you are new to my channel, then I insist you to please subscribe my channel. Thank you for the help. If you have any doubt, you can, uh, you can comment in the comment section, right? Thank you so much.